it, man. Just kind of going back to like the the dumb jocks kind of brand and, and and the highlights of it. Knowing them guys personally, um, and you know, trying to create a platform and, and building that up and. And, and what it was like to get them guys on camera because these are two guys who are, who are usually <laughs> not in the front center. They're kind of behind the scenes type of guys and really? don't really like to, you know, have the spotlight on them. But I wanted to make sure that the world knew who they were, our town knew who they were, the Northwest knew who they were because some of the most talented people I know. So uh, it, was, it, was, it was funny just because I know them so personally that uh, it, it was just knowing how they felt in that moment probably being in front of the camera was a little bit different on them but that was for sure one of the highlights that I have um, and, and, and you know just being able to be in their space where they sold their clothes they they owned the spot that they were in and it, it was just a beautiful moment for me. You know they had the original spot over on 84th you know it was like a grand opening you know so we were just very very uh, proud proud of our, our, our friends that they were able to see something through you know what I mean again you know just seeing everything from from the ground up and, and see them kind of get to that first milestone, which was, all right, we got our first little storefront. And, uh, you know, from, from there, just being able to be a part of it, celebrate it. And, you know, selfishly for me, one of my, my, my high moments for the brand was when, you know, Quam said he wanted to help sponsor one of my comedy shows. So, you know, that was a big thing. I was like, damn, this is where we at. We're in position. You want to start sponsoring and stuff. So that was good, man. And, and, and it just showed, again, you know, the brotherhood that we have, um, the loyalty that's intact. And, you know, it's always going to be that way. So tell me about Dumb Jocks the brand, man. Where we're at, uh, what location it's at, man. Uh, Dumb Jocks, we're over here at uh, 54. 12 South Tacoma Way. The brand has come a long way. We started in 2013, um, and it's just seeing it grow from what it became. Like, uh, like we started designing in college, and uh, like the designs back then, like we laugh at now. Like, just uh, yeah, we just the growth of it, getting better at designing, getting better at marketing, getting better at everything pretty much. Um, and just learn at, learning as we go. Um, we didn't know, we didn't have all the tools when we started, so it's just, a learn, uh, we're just learning while we do it and uh, refining what we do every, every day. Man, that's the fun part, you know, the trials and tribulations. You know, when you first get something, you know, you're, we live in an era now where we just think everything's gonna be instant, you know, instant oatmeal, instant grits. And you know, you think you're gonna get a, a, a boatload of t-shirts and you just gonna post it on your social media page and everybody's gonna buy it. It don't work like that, you know? So you really gotta put the work in, you know? Uh, you know, we had, we had some help, you know, because of you know, our influence that we, you know, we have around in the community. So that was always, you know, uh, uh, you know, something that we didn't take for granted. But again, just understanding that footwork and understanding that it's not just gonna happen like, I got t-shirts, you know, I got, you know, uh, merch. And, you know, people had to fully understand the concept of what was behind it. And, you know, that was kind of part of that, that, that growth process that I know I had to learn, you know, kind of just from my position that I was taking within the brand. The quote that, you know, is kind of famous from, from Nipsey, that is, he, uh, he was in an interview and he said, uh, I didn't have all the t I didn't have all the answers. I'm you know I'm not this just genius. I just I just kind of paraphrasing obviously, but he's he said I kind of just didn't quit. I just kept going. Um, and so, like he said, it was it, I mean what is that? 2013. We're six years deep now. So you know obviously with with everything, there's going to be learning process. It could, it could be a small detail like uh, me giving out a, 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 a wrong promo code <laughs> for, 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 for my discount, um, you know, for, and, and then going back in and having to revise that for, for the next drop. And now it's like, okay, well, well Quam goes in on the back end and, and, and gets it to where my, the promo code that I gave people before is, is now the promo code that, that I push forward out now. So, you know, my, minor details like that, and there's obviously bigger things that happen um, over time, but the, at the end of the day it's just about not quitting and kind of just weathering the storm and being able to roll with all the punches that that come because you don't know where they're coming from and when, when they get there it's like oh hit with this or you know hit with this like right now they're going through a remodel and in this remodel there's different aspects of you know 
uh, uh, like construction going on to you know the storefront and you know different ways of how that could affect business but you know we're always thinking ahead and, and, and trying to be the best us and and to do that you know you go through these different times where you know stuff happens and you have to like I said you know roll with the punches and keep it moving so every summer we've been at a lot of different places um, we've been to that UPS before we vendor at uh, we just did the taste we do that almost every year we do a freedom fair at the waterfront uh, at Rustin uh, we're doing art on the Ave um, Hilltop Street Fair from Kenley. Uh, we do IT's tournament every year. And then um, a couple of things I have in the works coming hopefully in the future is um, a couple of different pop-ups. We want to do one in Seattle. We want to do one in uh, Portland. We want to do one in uh, Cali, like Oakland and uh, LA. So um, yeah, be on the lookout for those. Um, and any, any other people that might want to collab, uh, we're open to that too. You know, what Quan was saying, uh, you know, being at the z uh yearly is something that, that uh, I always look forward to, obviously. Um, you know, we've had, you know, little, little stations at the comedy show, uh, you know, being on, uh, you know, Art on the Ave, um, you know, just, just everywhere really that they would allow us to set up, you know, that's where we would be at. So, you know, we would always just try to get with the higher ups who have ever, you know, putting that event together. Uh, and we appreciate, you know, those, those people who have allowed us to, uh, you know, put our, our footprint on, um, you know, this, this industry. And uh, we, we, we ask that you guys continue to support us because it's only going to get bigger and better. I especially like, not to steer the conversation, but the Northwest Market. Um, it's the downtown Northwest Market in Tacoma. Um, it's hosted by uh, the people down there, the good people down there at uh, All Star Vintage. Um, and uh, yeah, that that one, there's a it's a, it's a real diverse crowd of people, um, just like the Ethnic Fest, where um, you know it's you, you you feel the support. You know when when people are walking by and you know they're talking to you. It's a genuine connection between our brand and the community. And so you know vending in the summertime and the festival season, man, it's like it's 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 like the it's all our season so it's it's something that we look forward to every year it's something that you know we uh, definitely put time and dedication into uh, you know a lot of a lot of brands um, you know who, who have t-shirts and hoodies and different things of that matter um, you know they have to go somewhere and pick the prints up and different things like that um, a lot of the stuff that is done here in dumb jocks is in-house so being able to you know if, if there's a there, there's been long hours or early mornings where we had to come in and print things and Quam had to come in and print things and um, you know right before we go on and do these events so the last release you know we were able to have some success off of that um, and continuing on to you know our, our new launch coming uh, you know we want to just continue to build you know and, and, and not corner ourselves just to a certain demographic like again you know we are you know the name is dumb jocks but you know, we're big on defined labels. Tapping in with our, our, our younger demographics, um, you know, with, with children's clothing um, and something, you know, I see here very, very close in the near future is every gym, every sporting event you go to, you're going to see somebody with a dumb jocks tee, a hat, something. You're going to see because we're coming for that market and um, we're just going to speak that into existence. We've been able to kind of go from what I believe was like um, athletic streetwear um, to expand that to you know be something that is culturally more than just what that means and so um, you know a lot of pieces that we come have like a 90s influence we grew up in the 90s and um, you know there's things that we relish back on one of my favorite designs going back is we all gonna eat all that rip moving forward we definitely like you were saying we're gonna keep expanding um, children little jocks um, you know with athletic wear as well getting into these gyms and making sure that you know we're notified or we're we sponsor different fighters and different athletes so being able to uh, you know have that under our belt shout out Don Williams shout out Marquise Weston um, you know so these different things that um, the brand is doing in the community is, is gonna be you know taken to a whole nother level moving forward with the expansion of the shop um, and, and just everything that we have going on. So yeah, we're, we're definitely excited about what's to come, for sure. So 
our, our last release was, was like a lot of rebranding. Uh, we had a couple new logos that we're going to use for, uh, for now that you guys will see. Um, we're using a little more slogans like uh, the five labels. Um, like our main slogan is uh, labels we define ourselves. So.